friends welcome to big foodies today we are cooking twice packed sour and cheesy potato casserole which can be served as a side dish with any type of meal everyone loves this dish including kids because of its cheesy texture before checking the recipe please subscribe to big foodies by pressing the subscribe button to get new recipes every week and never miss a video from big foodies and hit the bell icon to get notifications about new recipes Let's check the ingredients now to make delicious twice baked sour and cheesy potato casserole for your family and friends. Hello friends, today we are cooking baked potatoes. For cooking baked potatoes, we have taken big size idaho potatoes. and we will be soaking them in cold water for half an hour first this is the first step so that uh, all the chemicals uh, will dissolve in the water and we will get fresh potatoes take out the potatoes from the cold water which we have soaked in and uh, dry them first and after drying them we need to coat them with the oil i have already coated them with the oil and we need to coat them using a fork on all the sides After coating the potatoes with oil and coating them, we need to put some salt on them and we need to coat them with the salt. So we have coated the potatoes with the salt. Now we have to preheat the oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit and we will be baking these potatoes for 40 to 60 minutes until the potatoes are tender from the inside and crisp from the outside. So we have put the potatoes in the oven. So we will be baking the potatoes for 40 to 60 minutes until they are tender from the inside and crisp from the outside. Now we have turned off the oven. It's been around one hour since our potatoes have been baking. Now our potatoes have been baked. You can when you touch them, they are soft from the inside and crisp from the outside. So our baked potatoes are ready. So for cooking sour and cheesy double baked potatoes what we need to do is first we need to peel the skin of the potatoes Now we have peeled all the potatoes after peeling the potatoes we need to chop them in pieces Now we have chopped the potatoes transfer them into a baking casserole and now we need to add some spring onions green chilies and some cilantro leaves so we will be mixing the spring onions green chilies and cilantro leaves in the potatoes add two tablespoons of minced garlic so while we are making the potatoes we can preheat the oven to 450 degrees fahrenheit Now add two teaspoons of basil powder, half a teaspoon of oregano powder, two tablespoons of dried chopped chives, half a teaspoon of black pepper powder, two tablespoons of olive oil. add salt as per your taste uh, now add 1 cup of sour cream mix it well after mixing the spices and the sour cream If you feel that you need to add more sour cream, then you can add it. I feel that we need some more sour cream, so I'm adding half cup more sour cream here. Now mix it well. Now add uh, one cup of green peas. I have taken frozen green peas. If you have fresh green peas, you can also take fresh. Mix it well. You can see it already started looking delicious. Now add some mozzarella cheese. Add 
lots of cheese. Don't like too much cheese. You can reduce the amount of cheese as per your taste. Now blend it well. Now it is ready to go into the oven. We have already preheated the oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Now keep it for 15 to 20 minutes. So after 15 minutes we will check it. After 15 minutes we have taken it out of the oven. And now we are pouring 1 cup of milk in it. Now give it a mix after adding the milk. Mix it on all the sides. Milk will give it a rich consistency. Now add a more cheese on the top. Keep it for 10 to 15 more minutes in the oven. Now reduce the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and keep it for 10 to 15 more minutes. It's been 15 minutes, so now we can turn off the oven and take out the sour and cheesy double baked potatoes. Now you can see how delicious they are looking. So our double baked sour and cheesy potatoes are ready. Enjoy it and let us know your comments. If you like this recipe, please subscribe to Big Foodies for new recipes every week and never miss a video from Big Foodies. And like and share this video as much as possible. Thank you so much for watching.